Jay Sano, without intro music. Jay Sano, with intro music. Intro music remix. Hello everybody and welcome back. It is Jeff again coming to you from the Minecraft server. I had actually recorded a, another episode of my shenanigans here on the server and I really didn't accomplish too much. Uh, I was looking, digging, looking for caves and it just was ended up being an episode of a lot of just digging straight down, finding like these little teeny small caves. Uh, I was asking the guys if they think there's any diamonds left on the server and they all doubt it. Uh, I asked if there was lem or excuse me melons or no excuse me pumpkins on the server, and Nebris seems to believe that they are here within the world border, just not yet collected. Badge disagrees with him, as you can see by the chat log. That doesn't sound right, um, but. Pumpkins are kind of important for my build, so I'm going to go on a little search and hope that maybe the Nebs is uh, is correct in saying that. I would assume if they're anywhere within the world border, they might have been maybe on the edge, and that's why he thinks that they're now within the world border, but they're not yet been collected, whereas Badge doesn't think so. That's the only real thing that I can think of. So I'm going to take a leisurely stroll around the border. I would go use a community horse, but last time I was up there to use the community horses, there was no saddles. And since I don't have a saddle, it really doesn't matter. I think you can fish for saddles. I might spend some off-camera time and just do a lot of ridiculous fishing and looking for saddles. I wonder whose spot this is. See you, Badge. Just very basic, basic things. Ooh, got a Protection 3 helmet, whoever this is. Very nice. I was just going to see if they, uh, they're they building something kind of interesting. There's reeds. I think we have plenty of reeds in this place. I'm not sure. This is kind of like a, a world border tour yet again, but that is not what this is supposed to be. I'm actually going to cut the video here and continue my trek around and come back and join you guys when I've gone around and decided if I think that there's pumpkins that could be had so i'll see you guys in a little bit guess what guys pumpkins i think i was right in that uh never said that they were within the world border but nobody collected them because i bet you it's the fact that this one right here is is the pumpkin so i got me a pumpkin yeah, it turns into four pumpkin seeds. I need to go plant me a pumpkin farm. And I'm not going to do that individually. I'm going to do that over in the community area because everybody could benefit from pumpkins. Um, maybe. <laughs> Most people probably have absolutely zero need for pumpkins. But I personally have a need for pumpkins because I need snow golems. So this is great. So I'm going to go set up my first community build. I haven't really built anything on this server yet, but I'm going to uh, do start my first community build over the community garden and uh, get the pumpkins started. Uh, I could probably make an auto harvester for it like I did in the last season. I don't have enough supplies for that, I don't think, though. You know, I, have to... I don't know. Let me just set up basic stuff first so that we have pumpkins to share. And then we will continue from there so let me meet you guys when i get back over to the community center so apparently we've removed the community farm but i'm gonna plant the initial pumpkins just in some place up here i'm gonna plant three of them up here and i'm gonna take one back to my base just in case something happens to this because i'm kind of afraid they're gonna try to remove this as well um this is apparently not Oh, it's not tilled enough. I don't think it needs to be tilled, actually, though. I guess it does need to be tilled. That's weird. So let's... That should be within water, right? I don't remember... I don't know why I don't remember if... Uh, I almost just fell in there. Good, that filled back in. Oh, shoot. That's not going to work. There's a... Uh, <laughs> There's nothing below me right here, so I guess that that's going to make that difficult. Um, so let's put that back. I guess we can go down here a little bit more. Because I honestly don't remember if you need 
Jeez. Everything's just one wide holes. Fine. <laughs> we'll put the pumpkins here. Dang. That's still... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never did it. I guess I'll just put one here. I don't know, framing I don't know what it'd be framing him for. There we go. We got one bumpkin going over here. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with these pumpkins, but I guess I'm going to take, uh, take my pumpkins and head back toward my house. I guess he's been framed. Oh, there's a, there's part of the farm. Oh, I thought this was the community farm. Who's fallen down? No, no, what'd he do? Oh no, is there death games going on? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Just borrowing some books. Okay, I'm going to head back toward the ski hill. Uh, and maybe get some... I don't think I'm going the right way to the ski hill actually. But anyways, I'll meet you guys back over there. Pretty shortly. Okay, man, I made it. That was that was dangerous. There was more creepers than I think I've seen in a long time in that little stretch of like 30 blocks that went through that little forest. So that was kind of crazy. But either way, and now there's skeletons blocking my entrance. Maybe he'll give me a cool helmet. And I, yeah, good. I feel I feel better now actually because of the fact that I, oh, thank God I got him. He didn't give me the helmet because I was kind of worried since I got a late start on this series that I was not going to be able to get anything I needed to make some, make anything really happen. Like, I'm already short on diamonds. I did manage to find a decent amount of iron and stuff. I mean, I guess I could branch mine um, for a while, but I was trying to keep things a little bit more entertaining. And then deciding on the ski hill to do, the important thing for me in this case is to get a some uh, pumpkins going so I can get golems. And... Now I've actually got the ability to do that. I'm not liking the fact that you just blew up my mountain, though, you big, big jerk. Jerk face. I don't even have a bed yet, so I haven't slept on this server once because I haven't gotten a bed. One of each type of armor, weapons in the chest, etc. I don't know who he's talking about. But either way, I'm pretty sure pumpkins don't require... water so i'm just gonna do this for now i could be completely wrong on that and these things could just die and i will be down to this one lone pumpkin seed which is a good possibility and unfortunately you can't make you know what just just to be sure there i know that that will keep the the land tilled so that should allow me to grow some pumpkins uh, obviously oh you know what they do need water. I'm an idiot, so that one up in front's going to die. But I'll have these two growing uh, just to give me some base starts of pumpkin. So that'll just take a few days. And then we will be able to start the endeavor of covering this place with snow. I should probably put a door on this, don't you think? Um, nah. I, I like it. I like it open to the elements. It gives it a little bit of an aspect of danger. Have a little bit of fun with it and see what happens i do want to get a bow and i've already got two string not that i have many arrows i only have a couple in the chest i have five arrows on me but a bow is always a nice thing to have oh i want to say goodbye to him but i can't fighting a spider do you see ya oh i missed he probably thinks i'm a jerk good i got enough string now in order to do all that stuff i should make a cool you know, I need to get some more iron and make 
rail carts and I want to make a ski jump on my hill that's going to be out of a rail cart and you're going to go down and I'm going to try to make it so I land on Beef's house. I think that would be hilarious. Just be like, woo, boom, and you're just all of a sudden you're on Beef's house. I think that would be great. So I think I am going to do that. Um, I could get a fishing rod and do some fishing. Uh, I don't really think I have the need to do that right away. I think I'd much rather get a bow in the works here. There we go. So I at least have some better protection. How much armor? How much uh, iron do I have? I have 29 iron at this point. 30, 37 total, and I already made an iron chest plate, so I'm not doing too shabby there. I can make some more. Oops. I can make some more um, armor. I'll make some pants for now and keep 30 iron around for other things. I already got my iron pick. I don't, yeah, maybe I should just uh, start digging a little base then. Now, the question is, do I want my base at the top or the bottom? I need sheep is what I need. I need sheep and red dye in order to... These guys get so confused on the snow, it's funny. Oh, how'd you hit me? Oh, there's two of them. I better go. Ow. That's not my house. That is not my house. Oh, crap. I'm not regenerating. I'm just slowly meandering away from the skeletons. It is not a big deal, fellas. It's not a big deal. They get really glitched out on the snow. I noticed that in the end of the last season, but it's definitely proving to be to be the case that they really do get glitched out on this snow. I need to get this bread on my bar. That's what I was looking for. So those guys are all dying up there, which is good. I'm thinking that I'm going to put... There's going to be one patrol building at the top of this mountain and maybe a one a little base station at the bottom or maybe the other way around the main station at the bottom and a base station up here at the top so i also need to think about the fact that i will need to build a ski lift of some sort to get up here but for now i'm going to collect a little bit of this snow because a little bit of the snow won't hurt it. And I'll need the snow anyways in order to make... the. Yeah, I can't see the pumpkins from here, can I? No, to make the snow golems, I will require the snow. I need to make a better way into my, into my base here. Since I keep getting lost with it. So for that, I'm going to need some shovels. Maybe not some shovels, just a shovel for now. Because I don't want to go too crazy with this. And then get a template of a building. But I really want my... Oh, yeah. So this will actually help me here. So this is all snow. Oh, no. It turns into rain right here. So I don't know if the, the snow is going to stay once it turns into rain. That's definitely something I need to get my iron golems working on in order to be able to... To test but this should be fine 16 that should be enough for my first snow golem and we're gonna be able to find out obviously it has not grown yet over there I can I can already see that they're both in their mature state I just need to get them into their their better actual pumpkin state now sheeps are the other thing I know they exist on the server in helping Ori to get her stuff going there was definitely sheep involved in there so there should be sheep around in the server so i need to get me red dye and white dye so there's plenty of red flowers down there i don't want to go steal beef's flowers but i'm gonna go get some red flowers from somewhere nearby start that collection going and i should be able to there we go there's some and i should be able to get enough for the ski, ski patrol colors are red and white. Um, they used to be rust and blue, but they're red and white now. Uh, I know it sounds rust and blue sounds weird. Rust and blue is kind of a cool color. It was very distinctive. Uh, you could easily tell who was a ski patroller on the hill, whereas the red and white parkas, they it gets a little bit more tough because the ski schools are also red and white, and a lot of the different 
a lot of the different uh, people who work there wear red. So the red gets a little bit difficult to distinguish who we are. Again, we wear a cross on our back uh, that you're supposed to be able to see, but that's only if you're looking at me from the back. And a lot of people will just look at a ski school person and assume that they're a ski patroller as well because they're just wearing red. So they, you know, they attribute the colors with something. So it does get a little bit confusing, but it is, it is a decent color. I don't mind it at all. It was just like my FEMA uh, my FEMA building, it was pretty much that, I think, looked a lot more like a, whoa, like a ski patrol building than it did a FEMA building. So that's essentially the logo and stuff I'm going to be using, but it won't be in tent style, because it's not going to be a FEMA tent. It looks really cool, that waterfall does. So I think I got enough red dye to continue this on. So I have started the pumpkins, so that's good. I've actually I've been able to do something on this server. I'm the one who's got the pumpkins. Oh, yeah. Um, not that that was really hard, and all we have to do is wait like two more days, and there will be more pumpkins there. But actually, I think it'll be less than a day, because I, I think it extends like, what, 10 blocks a day each way? And they're only like one block outside of the border. So they must have just become available today, if that's the case. That's interesting. So they just became available today. I planted some where everybody can get to them as well as I'm trying to get some going over here for my little stash. Um, and then I'll make that more community as well. However, being back on the Minecraft server with all the rain and everything has made me realize that I might need a better shelter. But things are coming along. Pumpkins in check. Red dye in check. I just need to get some sheep rounded up, and then we can get started on Ski Patrol Hill. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.